Hi, my name's Andrew Sink, and I created Plotter Toolheads with the end goal of making pen plotting more accessible to people who already have 3D printers. In this video, we're going to be covering the installation of the Plotter V2 on the Creality Ender 3 3D printer. This video is a quick way to get you up and running if you've just purchased a Plotter V2. Don't forget, there's also a written manual in PDF format available on the Tindy page. Before installing the Plotter V2 toolhead, the first step of the process is to remove the existing hot end from your 3D printer. Before removing the hot end, we need to remove any filament from inside the PTFE tube and then decouple the PTFE tube from the extruder module by removing the clip, pushing down on the collar, and pulling out on the tube. Using a 2mm driver, remove the two bolts that hold the hot end cover onto the mounting bracket and set them aside for later. Once both bolts have been removed, you can push the hot end cover to the side and use the same 2mm driver to remove the two bolts that hold the hot end against the mounting bracket. Because this process is completely reversible, you'll want to go ahead and take all of those parts and set them aside in case you decide to put the original hot end back on. I suggest using the bag that was included with the plotter parts kit, that way you can store it easily and safely. Once removed, you can place the hot end to the side of the printer where it can remain until you decide to reattach it again. You'll notice on the bracket there are two posts that stick up from the mounting bracket and we use the alignment holes on the plotter toolhead to make sure those sit flush. Once the bracket is sitting flush, use the M3 flathead bolt to secure it to the gantry and you'll want to mount them loosely one at a time, first in the bottom left hole, then in the hole to the bottom right, and then the middle hole which can be a little bit tricky until you get the hang of it. Once all three have been mounted, go ahead and tighten them up and move the head back and forth and check the springs for articulation to make sure everything is properly mounted. Just like calibrating a 3D printer, your 2D plotter also needs to be calibrated to get the best print results. Once the tool head has been mounted, go to the home screen and then select Prepare Auto Home. This will bring everything into a neutral position which we can use to calibrate our pen to the build surface. Once the tool head is homed, go back to the home screen, click Prepare, Move Axis, Move Z, and select Move 0.1 millimeters. You'll want to jog the wheel to the right, selecting Move Up, and then go back to Prepare and select Disable Steppers. The plotter tool head is now in its plotting position, so we can add our paper and then our pen now that everything has been leveled. The first step to adding the paper is adding two clips from the back of the build tray. Make sure the paper is sitting flat when you do this. If it has any warps or bows or bends or anything like that, you're going to see those present in the plots later. So make sure everything is laying perfectly smooth before adding the two binder clips to the front of the build platform. These binder clips you'll snap over and they'll hold the paper flat against the build sheet. Once the paper is down flat, you can drop the pen through the plotter tool head, allowing it to settle and come to a rest against the paper. Using the 2.5mm driver, screw in the mushroom cap M4 bolts that hold the pen in the plotter, but don't tighten them fully at this point. Insert both bolts and tighten them both to the point where the pen is being held loosely in the plotter carriage. Once both bolts are lightly touching the pen, move the tool head back and forth along the x-axis, making sure it's still making contact with the paper. Once you've established that the pen is making contact, you can tighten both bolts so the pen is firmly held in place in the tool head. Before running the calibration print, I'd recommend using a fresh sheet of paper, and this can be as easy as simply flipping over the sheet of paper you used to align the tool head and reclipping it down. Now we're ready to make our first plot. Select the plotter spiral cal g code file and watch the plotter go. The first thing that will happen is the plotter will spell out plotter calibration test, and then it'll proceed to draw a spiral starting on the outer perimeter of the paper. The concept here is this gives you plenty of time to level your bed as the plotter is plotting. Here we can see what a successful plotter calibration test should look like. The text is clean and legible, the spiral has no voids or dark spots, and looks even and uniform. The final step is to draw a perimeter, which is the working space of the plotter, around the entire test. If your calibration was successful, this should be the result that you see. That being said, there's plenty of times where things don't quite work out as planned. So let's take a look at what happens if the calibration isn't successful. I'm going to manually lower one of the corners of this bed and then rerun the calibration test to see what happens. You'll see as the spiral is being made, there's a clear void where the pen is not making contact with the paper because the bed is too low. You could compensate for this by lowering the action of the spring, but the best thing to do at this point would be to raise that corner of the bed so the pen is making contact evenly with all four corners of the build surface. And that's it! Now you've installed the plotter and you're ready to start plotting a masterpiece of your own. 
Don't forget, you can always reach out to me on Twitter at plotter underscore toolheads, or just leave me a comment on this video. As always, thanks for watching and have fun plotting.